They're extraordinary individuals. Honorary degree recipients are individuals that, that, that you think about, that you read about. Uh, some of them are more famous than others. Some of them are celebrities. Some of them are less well-known, but in their field are luminaries. They're individuals that are inspirational. They're individuals that in many ways have changed the world or really changed the way we look at things or changed policies and procedures uh, for the betterment of society, not only during their lives, but often for, for generations after. So there are three different kinds of honorary degrees that we, we give out. We, we give a Doctor of Letters, which is to people who are excelling in the arts. We give a Doctor of Science for those who have excelled in science. And a Doctor of Laws for those who excel in all sorts of other areas, including philanthropy, business, uh, social justice. These are people who are so good, who have done so much. And so just to pick a few is actually hard because these really are very top people. This year's recipients are amazing. Uh, they come from all walks of life. I think it's really important that we have uh, honorary degree recipients address uh, graduates. And in doing so, they bring their own experience and where they've come from and their own struggles. And I think that can help students see the possibility of the future. It's encouraging to meet and to come across people who've done it, who've succeeded, and it's encouraging to note that, yeah, it's possible and I can do it, and it keeps your eyes on the, on the end game. And so bringing these folks in just to hear from them and to see what their achievements have been is in, of itself an inspiration to students. They serve as the examples for our faculty and our staff and our students of, of what they can do with their lives. And it's really, really inspirational to hear their stories. When I was younger, I wanted to be a marine biologist. I want to be a flight attendant so I can travel the world and get to see all these sites. My big dream in, in uh, somewhere in grade school was to be a radio announcer. I, I think I had no idea what I wanted to be when I grew up. Well, after my failed attempt at a career in the NHL, which came to a grinding halt when I was about 13, um, second, second aspiration was to become Prime Minister of Canada. Even when I was a teenager, I wanted to be an actress, so I did do a lot of acting when I was in university. Well, you know, I'm 68 years old. I still don't know what I want to be when I grow up. I'm grateful that I had the discipline to, to stay healthy. I am grateful for my husband, Tosh. He was always supportive. Books, uh, the, the fact that I could learn my history through, not through history textbooks, but through the library that one was lucky enough to have access to. I celebrated my birthday on the 1st of October this year, and I was 72. That's a lot to be grateful for. <laughs> to be loved and to love and to have had a very rich set of connections with my family. My grandmother raised me tough and I think that was really important for this road that I ended up traveling on. I think recognizing what's important is what I'm most grateful for. Well I'm definitely grateful of course for my children. I would say that I'm most grateful to have been provided an opportunity to make a difference. Well I guess the thing that I would most like to say to UBC graduates today is to continue the tradition of community service, um, service to humanity. Find the things that make you happy and stick with that. Be prepared for a roller coaster. You have accomplished great things. You found your courage, your strength, your passion, and you're going to really need it when you go out into the world. But really what it comes down to is reputation and being kind to others, being respectful. To be open to opportunities. To believe that there's a future. Nothing is impossible. I'd like to tell them to be interested in the brain. Uh, the brain <coughs> is said to be the second most complex problem that we face in science. The first most complex problem is the structure of the universe. And we're not going to understand the structure of the universe without the brain. Find a place where they can be happy being themselves. I mean, you've already shown amazing courage and clarity. Just don't give up. The biggest thing is value your degree and go make it work for you. You know, as my grandmother always told me, life is what you make it. The importance of living 
from your feelings and leading with empathy. You know, if you want to make this world a better place, they have to speak up. Be a positive role model for your family members, for your friends. Follow your dreams and be joyous about them and to try to expand your universe beyond the universe and the world that you've always known uh, up until this point. I would like to give my congratulations to all of the honorary degree recipients this year in 2020. Thank you so much to the honorary recipients for what you've done and congratulations for this achievement. My heartfelt congratulations to our honorary degree recipients. We are thrilled to have you as part of the UBC community. We're looking forward to a continuing relationship well into the future.